I mean, when I became famous, it was like he was the pop star. Nightclub Q after nightclub Q. <laughs> Literally. I'm Will Young's brother. I'm Will Young's brother. He might as well have got it tattooed on his forehead. The stories that came back to me. The amount of people that know Rupert around London is insane. Particularly if it's a pretty brunette. Oh, I've met your brother. Yeah, I bet you have. I found out later that Rupert was partying a lot during Pop Idol. That's when the drinking started taking hold more. But I think the important thing to note is that the anxiety and depression that Rupert felt was there before the alcohol. Look how young Rupert looks. He must have had just had a stress because he always used to shave his head when he yes he did when he was when he'd had a stress or was about to have a stress. Is that Rupert? Yes. Is he? I thought that was me. This is Rupert. Nice seeing happy it? Rupert too. Yes. Yes, that's true. That's a, which was a rarity in the later Carefree. years. Carefree. Yes. Good times. Yes, happiness. Happy yes. times. Happy times. I'd like to know the moment it went wrong as we go through his life. I know, I was sort of thinking well, that. You know, as, as, as you go through this, there was, there was nothing wrong with him at this stage at all. <clears throat> and yet, when he died, he was all screwed up. Where did that screw start turning? What came with the drinking was then the drama. And they kind of then wouldn't be separated. So I could tell really quickly if he was drunk. You know that look in his eye? Yes. Do you remember? Yes. And you'd see it, and I'd think, when's oh, he going to turn? Yeah. Absolutely. And it would just turn. He, he would turn, wouldn't he? Mm. And it yeah. was scary. I remember scuffles, fighting with him in the kitchen in my house, you know, wrestling a knife away, calling the police. Still to this day, if the phone rings late at night, my no, heart sinks it. to my boots mm. because it always presaged a, some form of crisis and um, or threat or the police. I mean, literally, he could be anywhere. He's on a beach in Newport somewhere. I mean, literally, he could end up anywhere. And we would sweep in and try and fix the problem. Of course, you would. You don't think about it, do you? You would just go into. You would rescue just mode, go yes. into rescue mode. Yes. I mean, I don't even remember. Can you think of the amount of times we've taken him to Priory and Bristol no. or Thingy or...? Yes. I think I felt a, help, a sense of helplessness. Yeah. I think I just thought, my gosh, I really don't think you're going to get out of this. <laughs> 